Hey there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and more of 31 Days of Oscar. Tonight, we're featuring winners of the Academy Award for Best Cinematography. Up next, an action-packed pirate adventure released in 1942. It's from 20th Century Fox, The Black Swan. Errol Flynn is widely seen during the height of his success in Hollywood and today as the single biggest action star of the 1930s and 40s. Flynn was under contract to Warner Brothers then, but every studio in town wanted their own Errol Flynn. In 1940, 20th Century Fox struck gold. That's when Fox took an actor they already had under contract, Tyrone Power, and put him in his own adventure picture, The Mark of Zorro. The film was a big hit. Fox had its own action star. Even his name was perfect. Tyrone Power can't be real. Sounds too much like an action hero, like the boys up in marketing came up with that one. Figure his real name was something ridiculous, like Benjamin Frederick Bankowitz. Turns out, sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. Tyrone Power's real name was Tyrone Power. In fact, it's pretty much the name of every guy in his family. His great-grandfather was the Irish actor Tyrone Power. His father was Tyrone Power Sr. Somehow, our Tyrone Power was actually Tyrone Power III, and his son is Tyrone Power Jr. In The Black Swan, Power stars as a retired pirate, now gone legit, working as an aide to the new governor of Jamaica. His task, and it's a monumental one, is to get the rest of the unretired pirates to surrender and stop plundering. As this was a Tyrone Power action movie, Fox pulled out all the stops, shooting the project in Technicolor with their top cameraman, Leon Shamroy, who won the Oscar for Best Color Cinematography. We'll have more on Shamroy after the movie. Here it is from director Henry King in 1942, co-starring Maureen O'Hara, also with Thomas Mitchell, George Sanders, Anthony Quinn, and Laird Krieger, The Black Swan. The Black Swan was shot in 1942 by cinematographer Leon Shamroy, who'd been working steadily in Hollywood since the 20s. At the time, he was at Fox, their star director of photography, and regularly brought in on the studio's prestigious Technicolor Productions. Leon Shamroy is tied with Charles Lang for having the most Oscar nominations, 18 of any cinematographer, and his four Oscar wins also put him in the record books, again in a tie. No one has more than Shamroy and Joseph Rutenberg. In addition to The Black Swan, Shamroy won Oscars for Wilson from 1944, Lever to Heaven from 1945, and the 1963 epic Cleopatra. Coming up, another Best Cinematography Oscar winner, this one released a year after The Black Swan. From 1943, Nelson Eddy, Susanna Foster, and Claude Rain star in The Phantom of the Opera, next on Turner Classic Movies. Next on TCM, Phantom of the Opera, then the picture of Dorian Gray, and later, Cries and Whispers. TCM hits the sweet spot tonight.